Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Smash, and today we're starting a brand new series of Seven Days to Die Alpha 19.3, and we are calling it Maximum Nightmare. And let me show you why we're calling this Maximum Nightmare. So check this out. These are the settings that we're gonna play on. All the zombie speeds, day speed, night speed, feral speed, blood moon speed, all of it's gonna be nightmare. They're gonna have 16 hour days, and guess what? To make it even more brutal and more punishing than it possibly could be, we're going to be doing a Blood Moon every single night. And let me tell you something, man. This game mode will completely crush you. This is some really hard stuff, man. Especially the way the Alpha 19 is set up, you know. Chances are we're going to be using primitive weapons, blunderbuss, ammo all that primitive stuff to basically survive. And it's just gonna be a freaking nightmare to the maximum. I'm not even sure how far we're going to get in this series. I would be surprised if we could make it to Devon, but we are gonna try our ass off to do that and conquer at least one week of this mode. So we're gonna see how it goes. All right, so we just spawned in. Excellent. This is what we're working with here. All right. Okay, so we are in the forest biome. Ha! Huh, that's pretty lucky. All right, let's get all this stuff in our inventory. Let's move this over here, and let's start getting to work. We absolutely have got to get a stone axe going immediately. And I see some pebbles right here, and one right here. Excellent. All right, let's grab up some plant fiber, and then we'll beat on this tree a little bit. Get some wood. We'll get our axe going. We'll need to start harvesting... A crap ton of wood for our frames. Uh, we're going to be using spike traps for sure. So we'll need a lot of wood for that as well. And then also we're going to need a ton of stone and clay so that we can make flagstone and cobblestone because the way this thing works, man, we need something a little more durable than wood, especially, uh, you know, in the beginning stages, man, because it's going to take a long time to kill these zombies on insane difficulty. And yeah, that's just how it works. All right, let's get this moving first, and then we'll make our bed roll. There we go. All right, we'll hack apart this tree. We'll make some frames. The next tree, we'll make some traps. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start working away around these challenges. Uh, but, you know, we're going to hold off a little bit on them. I don't want all the zombies spawning in quite yet the way that they could once you complete the challenges. Yeah, so we, we got that tree knocked out. Let's go ahead and make some frames. 30 is good enough. We'll spare the rest of the wood for a couple. Ah, let's back off that a little bit. That way we have some wood in our inventory. Get those in our belt. Okay, let's look for some stone. Uh, we need to get a shovel going. We need to dig up some clay and all that good stuff. And I don't want this tool to run out on me so quickly. We'll gather up some of this fiber. If we need lots of that. I see some more pebbles in the road. That's good. I see some trash as well. We'll definitely get this cotton because we need to uh, make some bandages. Um, we have one on us, but it'd be nice to have a few extra. Plus, um, you know, at some point we're going to need to craft some body armor because we are pretty much naked. And something I wanted to say about the armor in the beginning of the game. When you make the cloth armor, trust me, dude, it makes a huge freaking difference. I know it doesn't offer a whole lot of protection. But trust me, uh, it definitely does in the beginning of the game. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Yeah. Okay. More trash here. Let's go ahead and dig up this stuff. Take that. What do we got here? Nothing. All right. More trash. Grab this. Nothing. All right. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and make all this cloth real quick. There we go. Okay, too bad. Go to repair this guy. Uh, yep, we'll repair that. Let's cancel this. That takes too long. Let's make a stone shovel as well. You see, this area right here looks really nice to dig up some clay because we're on a flat surface here. We can kind of see all around us. Plus, we got some water next to us that'll offer a little bit of protection, uh, just in case uh, a zombie comes up on us and we don't realize it. Sometimes the audio doesn't cue in, and that's uh, pretty much a wrap when that happens. All right, let's get some of this in our inventory. Can you please? Thank you very much. 
All right. Another stone shovel. Okay. We're going to come back to this spot. We need to get more stone first. That's absolutely a must. All right. There we go. Get that. I think what we'll do is we'll hit this sand. This will give us stone. There we go. See, look at that. This is a quick way to get stone in the game. In the, in the early game. You know, you get one stone per hit. I think the uh, stone axe on a stone block is like two or three strikes. So the stamina penalty is a little bit less too, so that's good. Alright, how much stone do we have? 39, not a whole lot. We'll keep digging up this for a little bit. And then uh, we'll get some clay, that way we can make cobblestone and flagstone. And then we have some more durable uh, blocks in our inventory and our tool belt to defend ourselves against any zombies that we encounter. We'll come on over here, and we got enough to make some flagstone. So let's go ahead and dig up some of this clay, and then, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, dude, we got a house right there. We got a POI. That's awesome, man. Uh, in a little while, I think we'll gather up some feathers, and we'll make a bow, get some stone arrows going. I don't really want to go in there yet. Uh, we need to gather more materials first, but that's going to be a high priority. We need to take over that house as soon as possible. Alright, let's go ahead and make some cobblestone. 44 is good. Alright, sweet. Dig up a little more clay, get a little more stone, and then we'll start foraging for feathers. Because we need to make some arrows, and we can't be out here, or anywhere for that matter, going indoors, especially without any arrows. That's just going to be certain death for us. Alright, so we got that moving. Go ahead and put these in our inventory, and so we can defend ourselves, we definitely need to get a club going and a stone spear. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, let's get this in our inventory. We'll wait a little while for that guy, and then we'll grab some more clay, and then we'll get some stone, and then we'll do it up. Okay, got a car here. Go ahead and search this. Nice, got some of that and some of that. We got some feathers, that's good. Another car here, too. Let's grab these bones real quick. Get yeah. more fiber. How much wood do we have? Eight. Oh boy. We need to hack apart this tree. Got some trash around us. We'll go ahead and pick through some of that stuff. There we go. Nothing in it. Alright. One more piece of trash here. We'll grab this stone. Alright. Nothing. Damn. All right, let's get some, uh, ooh, here we go. We got some feathers, hell yeah. We have to get more wood now. I didn't realize that we were so low on wood. All right. You know what, let's place this bed roll down even though we're not gonna use it. Get that back up, we'll scrap it. Get rid of this, and then I think what we'll do is we'll make all these arrows here. Actually, let's make five. We'll keep one in our inventory for the challenge. Go ahead and make a stone axe, get that challenge out of the way, and then we need to make some flagstone blocks. We can make 11, that's good. Scrap that, get rid of this, and the chrysanthemum seed, and we'll get rid of this sand here. All right, that's looking good, we'll eat the berry. Why not? Get this flagstone in our inventory. There we go. Let's check out what's over here. Aha. A nice big house. Ooh, looks like we got some food down there. Some crops. We could probably harvest. Um, before we go in there, though, I think what we need to do is find some more feathers. And then we'll be pretty much set, man. Some trash here. Nothing. Damn. A whole lot of nothing. Oh, look at this, dude. Got a tree stump. Maybe we can get some honey. That would be super great. Yes, dude. That's so good. That's so, so good. Let's see. Could there possibly be any nests over here? I don't want to really want to go too far, you know? Here we go. Nice. Got some four feathers there. Okay. Alright. I think we'll wait to go in there. Let's go find some more feathers. Oh, look at this. Okay, we need to craft these, and let's go ahead and make a bow real quick. Really want to capture this uh, chicken here. 
a decent amount of feathers. And where did he go? Oh, of course. He's going to lead me right to a freaking zombie. All right. Yeah, I see that chicken. Oh, man. We're going to get ourselves into trouble right here. Missed. Damn. Okay, let's move away from her. Really want this chicken, man. Zombie over there. Kind of hanging out where that chicken is. Maybe we can cross over on this side. Oh, there's a zombie right there. There's the chicken. Okay. See if we can sneak up. There he is. Yes, dude. Hey, where did she go? She's over there. Okay. Grab all these feathers real quick. Okay, sweet, dude. Let's go. Oh, shit. There's a wolf right there. And another chicken. Oh, my God, dude. That wolf chasing us. Holy shit. Oh, he's over there still. Thank God, dude. That would have been the death of us right there. 100%. I don't see that chicken. I think it's not worth going by a wolf. Here we go. Yeah, that's not worth it. Gotta pick and choose our battles, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, I hear a zombie coming. Oh, shit. Gotta go. Oh, here's a chicken. Oh, we gotta get him. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, we missed. Yes, got him. To steal this chicken right in front of this zombie. Okay. How many resources do we have now? 111 wood and how much stone? 14. Alright, let's grab this stone and then I think we're going to go inside this POI. Let's go ahead and wear these, get this out of the way. Grab that. Alright. We're ready, man. We're ready to go inside this thing. Oh, look at this. I see some more feathers up here, though. Grab these. Oh, I hear a zombie. You know what? I think we're going to leave those feathers alone. <laughs> Alright. We are here, man. Let's go inside this POI. There we go. That there. Yeah. Let's see what's inside this rooftop here. I'm curious. Crack it open and uh, maybe we'll have a main loot up here. That would be freaking awesome. Oh yeah. Look at that, man. We got three, at least three zombies in here. Let me just uh, board that up real quick. Go ahead and make some of these guys. I think we're going to need a ton of these arrows to deal with these guys. We can get some sneak damage on these guys. Go and wake all of them up, I think. There's one, two, three. All right, now we got three angry zombies. Oh shit, would you look at that, dude? Can we reach from here? Yes, we can, sweet. Oh shit. Can he jump up that? No, he cannot. Oh yes, he can jump up that. Holy shit, dude. Come on down here. Yes. Okay. Woo. Can't. Yes, he's dead. Okay, where's this dude at? Down there. All right. Might as well break this apart. Woo. Don't go down there. Come back over here. <laughs> he can't make up his mind. There we go. Yes. Woo! All right. Get all my arrows back, punk. Ooh, we definitely got some main loot here, boys. Yeah. An arrow there. Okay, what's around here? Yes, dude, we cleared this thing out. Okay. Get rid of this. I don't want any zombies coming up on us. Slap down a frame. Good to go. Okay. Let's go check out what we found here. Okay, so we got a couple crates. We got a Shamway food crate and a Shotgun Messiah crate. That's what's up. Okay, what do we got? 
Some repair kits. Uh, looks like we got an ammo pile. We'll take all that stuff. Some food there. Ah, oh, yes, dude, a bandage. Ooh, here we go. A level 2 club. Okay, we'll wear these uh, armor padded gloves. Okay, take all that stuff. Okay, we got too many things in our inventory. Let's go ahead and scrap this guy. We'll ditch that. Put all this stuff that we don't need on us right at the moment. Okay, not bad. There's somebody beating on something. Oh, look at that, dude. Upgrade this. There we go. What's up, girl? Yes, dude, we killed her. Woo! Crack this open. Okay. Oh, boy, this is super sketchy. Ah. Uh -huh. Alright. Oh shit, would you look at that? Oh, I'm stuck! Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god, dude. Okay. There she is. Oh god. Please die. Yes, dude. Holy crap, bro. Okay, let's make some more frames. We're doing good. We're alright. We're alive. Barely. Go ahead and take one of these bandages. Holy crap, dude. Okay. Tear this. We gotta close that hole up. Man, that was not the play. Okay. Let's do this. There we go. Upgrade this. Why is that not upgrading? What the heck? There we go. Nice. Oh, did they just destroy some loot in there? Holy shit, man. Yes, we killed him. Oh shit. Yes, dude. And he drops a loot bag. Yes. Whew, that got intense really fast, man. Not gonna lie. Okay. A loot bag here. Yes, we'll take that stuff. Take that. I don't think there's any more zombies in here, but you never know. You really never know until you know. Grab that. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Hello? Oh, thank God. Crap, now we got more zombies coming in. Take a look in here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Put that up. Okay. I do not know what's going to come into this house right now. What's up, lady? Okay, nobody's coming up the stairs yet. That's good. Yes, we killed her. Okay. Jeez. Oop. This arrow back. Okay. We got a med stash there. That is beautiful, man. All right, we got a couple zombies downstairs. Um, hey, what? Let's upgrade these. There we go. Guess we'll do some looting while we're up here. Have that stuff. Okay. Crash here. Nothing. Got a backpack here. Some boots. Why not? Yeah, you know what? Let's wear these things. Alright. What do we got in here? Okay, we got some leather. Nightstand. 
Yeah, yeah, we'll wear those. Sweet. Crash. Take that with us. Grab that. Are they inside? Oh shit, yes they are inside. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, got him. Yeah. Go back to this room. Hey, did they make it up the stairs yet? Nope. Okay. Hey, you got one down there. Alright, might as well keep looting though. Take that. Ooh, we got some aloe creams. That's so good. Cloth there. Nothing up there. Okay. Hey, look at that, dude. We got a fancy jacket. We'll go ahead and wear that. And we'll uh, wear this blue bandana. Sweet. Oh, yes, dude. Check out this mod that we got. Barbed wire mod. That's going to help us out big time. Are they coming up the stairs yet? Nope. All right. Let's modify this club. There we go. Do some more damage with that thing. Hell yeah. Crash. Ooh, we got some acid. What's up, bro? You know what? Let's go outside. See if we can melee this dude. Okay. What else we got? Oh, we got a sleeper down there. Let's wake her up. Okay. Oh, shit. Got this barbed wire mod. Oh yeah. Nice. Hello? Oh shit. Oh man, we got hit. Are you kidding me? Yes, we killed her. Come on, bro. You can do it. What's up, buddy? Did we just take a hit damage from that? Kidding me, dude. There we go. Wow. We got hit through that. That's crazy, man. Well, that is extremely unfortunate, man. Can't believe we got hit twice. Once through the block. That was bullcrap. And then uh, the second one was kind of my fault. Got some soup there. Crack that open. Alright, let's put some of this stuff away that we don't need at the moment. Go ahead and use some of these aloe creams to heal up. Oh, moldy backpack. Yeah, dude, we got some scrap iron gloves. Sweet. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a sleeper right there. You know what? Let's get this challenge out of the way. There we go. There we go. Good hit. There we go. Oh yeah, dude. She bled out from this thing. Hell yeah. Grab all these chairs. I see a plug here. I'm gonna crack this open. Nice, some herbal antibiotics and a flashlight, dude. That's so great. Okay, we got some loot here. Oh, we got some pumpkin seed recipes. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, I think this room's clear for looting. Bookcase. Ooh, Night Stalker. Gain 5% more XP from kills at night. Hell yeah. That's super helpful. Oh shit, here comes the Blood Moon. Landmines won't detonate one stepped on. Oh my gosh. That is crazy that we got that. That's so good, man. We got a basement there. Alright. Grudge. Ooh, let's, uh, let's board this up. There we go. Is 
garment bag. Got a t-shirt. Sweet. Go ahead and wear that. Grab this and we'll take that. Awesome. Some red tea here. We'll drink a little bit. Alright. Let's see what's in this garage. Hey, zombies. Oh, wow. No zombies. Hell yeah. Okay, we got a bathroom here. Alright. Nice, dude. We got some duct tape. We can make a blunderbuss. Yes, dude. We got some shades. Hell yeah. We will take that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got a destroyed workbench. Alright. Yeah, we'll take that level 2 shovel. That's nice. Put him in our inventory. Water. Level 2 helmet. Sweet. Got an ammo pile up here. Okay, a little bit of ammo. Alright, let's see what's down in here. Can't see him though. It's super sketchy. Ooh, I don't know. Inside this room. Oh, let's fix that up a little bit. Somebody back here? Oh, yes, there is. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, dude. Barbed wire mod. So good, man. Yeah. What do we get? Alright, more shades. Wow, check that out. Yes, dude, we got a Mega Crush. Hell yeah. Coffee. Food. Some trash here. Like that. Nothing in it. Damn. A little bathroom here. Let's check this out. We got some trash here. Nothing. Damn, a whole lot of nothing. And more nothing. Okay, we got a little nice little place to call home. That's not too bad. Check this out. This is outside, man. We got this working SIFS tool crate, and we got a passing gas one, too. Oh, nice, dude. Let's scrap this level one. We'll take that, scrap, and then we'll take those. Oh, check it out, dude. We got a wrench uh, schematic, dude. That is awesome. Let's grab all this food. Beat up a little bit tonight. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and finish all of our challenges. We get uh, quite a few skill points to spend right off the rip, which is pretty nice. Put that down like that. Alright. Alright, so we ate a little bit and healed up, and damn, dude, check this out, dude. The trader is 2.8 kilometers away. That is so insanely freaking far. I am not looking forward to that journey. Check this out. We got some skill points available. We got five. First things first, I definitely want to go ahead and unlock cardio. Hiker, that's going to give us a stamina regen by 10% from sprinting. Go over to uh, Sexual Tyrannosaurus. This will reduce our tool stamina usage by 8%. So we'll keep our stamina up like that as well. Go ahead and unlock Pummel Pete. That way we can do a little more melee damage. 40% damage to stunned enemies plus 10% more damage and 60% chance to knock foes back down. Also unlocks the baseball crafting, which is pretty sweet. Go ahead and unlock Parkour Tumbler because that is going to give us a stamina reduction for jumping by 10%. I think I want to put the last skill point into advanced engineering. That way we can craft forges. All right, guys, and that's going to be it for the day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with more Maximum Nightmare very soon, and we'll catch you in the next episode.